Hello everyone, this is Sanjay here. In this video, I will show you how I got a Ryzen machine and also I will show you how I managed to hack in Tosh the Ryzen machine. I will quickly showcase the Ryzen Tosh in this video. Actually, this video is sent to me over internet. Here you can see the Ryzen Tosh machine which is running latest version of macOS Catalina with two VMs running inside the macOS. Actually, it has a Gigabyte ROS X570 Li motherboard, the non-Wi-Fi variant, with Sapphire RX5700 XT and Ryzen 7 3700X with 32GB of memory. I followed the Dortina open core guide which is recently updated to 0.6.1 we follow the exact same guide for the AMD build here you can see that it is for Ryzen and Threadripper we made two changes in this guide to make our Hackintosh work and I will quickly show you those in booter section we need to change this setup virtual map to false to make our Hackintosh working and also we have added a boot orgs which I will quickly show you in the config file as you can see here, we have changed the setup virtual map to false and also we have added some boot orgs to our config file which is npci is equal to 0x2000 and shiki gba128 without adding those we are getting some uh, green screen issue and screen tearing let me show you some of the pictures regarding that as you can see here uh, we are getting these troubles when we add shiki gva 80 everything works fine and uh, the computer is blazingly fast also i would like to mention we need to add uh, this boot arcs npci is equal to 0x2000 even though above 4G decoding is enabled in the BIOS. It is a little weird to keep those both NPCIE is equal to 0x2000 and uh, above 4G decoding enabled but uh, it works for but it works for this motherboard. I also plan to offer support for people who are hackintoshing their system. You can send me an email. I have given the email ID in the description box below. I, actually this Ryzen machine is owned by Abhishek who, who reached out to me on watching my youtube videos and then we discussed about the specs and how we can uh, connect remotely and um, do a hackintosh he spent some time with me to figure out what works fine for him and eventually we got this ryzen machine up and running with mac os carolina thank you abhishek for um, sharing this video of your machine in youtube and also thank you for contributing some financial support to this channel if anyone has the same exact configuration you can um, find the EFI for this exact same machine in the description below if you are hackintoshing your system for first time uh, have a look at this uh, Dortena guide and also AMD OSX forum uh, which is very helpful and also you can get some solution for your problem hope you enjoy this video if you like this video hit the thumbs up button if you appreciate my work consider hitting that subscribe button below 